Hey, how you doing there, guys? It's me again, your boy, Jeff Romeo, J to R, Jr. Anything you want to call me that, you know, represents the J with the R over there, that's cool. I mean, whatever you want to do. Anyway, you know, long time, no chit chat, you know, me to you. Yeah, it's me to you, right? I just moved to Brooklyn, uh, New York City. It's off. It's off New York City, which Manhattan, by the way, because I know a lot of you kids don't know. Brooklyn's down there a bit. Like, you got to go on the subway with the choo-choo with the train guy. So I moved. Not a whole lot going on in my life. I've been drinking a lot of water. I just drink water because cause water, it's good and it, you know, replenishes the liquids and, like, everything that you you do during the day. I don't know, you know, what the magic in water is. Midgets underneath the earth's surface just, you know, pumping like minerals, you know, kick cereal into this water. I don't know if they down there, what they doing. And, you know, so I drink my water. I make sure to, you know, take my vitamins. But still, I moved up to the Flintstones like the, the teen years. I'm so small that I figure that if I could probably, I could pay half the price, you know, for my vitamins, you know, like the big boys are supposed to take. But if I can pay like... $2.67, like I get Flintstones, you know, on demand, it's like having cable, and you get to choose the flavor. Kids are too stupid to realize it, that they all taste the same. It's all chalky, no matter how you look at it, but, you know, I figure, I save a few pennies, and, you know, it can just let me buy some more stuff, like crack, or, um, granola bars, because granola bars are good. I've been drinking my water, taking my vitamins, and, uh, oh, I just had a birthday, you know, yesterday was my birthday. Yeah, I'm 23 now. I still look about 14 or 15 years old, but that don't matter. None of that matters. I basically just sat here with my roommate. We had a pizza party. I brought back the pizza party. She brought back the pizza party because she was like, hey, let's get pizza. And I was like, word. Uh, we watched The Office on NBC because that's a goddamn good show, you know. And then we had, you know, some Carvel ice cream cake. Which is delicious. I'm about to go get me some. I've been growing my beard out. I'm working and I'm getting up early to go to work and all that. And I don't, I don't always have time to shave. I just don't feel like it. And since I'm not really looking to meet anyone right now, I figure, you know, just let it grow. It's comforting at night, you know, when I'm drinking. It, especially when I'm drinking water. It's great. I've been playing guitar here. You know, it's, it's pretty difficult, you know. And I'm still... You know, I don't even know what medium's going to be like yet. I'm still working my ways up. You know, I've been at it now for, you know, probably good two months. Probably, yeah, two or three months. I've been, you know, I've been at it, you know, with my fingers, my magic wands. And to the main, main, main point of my speech here today, every day when I'm on the subway and I'm going to Manhattan for work, I see these girls walk on, you know, some dudes too, but only on occasion, right? But anyway, I see the girls walk on, and they got the goddamn sunglasses on. Like the fucking sun is just at the back of the train. It's going to get them. I don't know if the dad is Burt Reynolds himself, Burt Reynolds, you know, niece, slightly confused nephew. Not just like any, you know, skinny, petite little sunglasses. These motherfuckers are huge. They're like this big. Pretty soon, like, these whole sunglasses just going to be one big lens around the face. And the girl's going to be walking around all, like, skitsy about it. She's like, nah. But it's fine. You know what? You want to wear your sunglasses outside? Good, great. Thumbs up to you, man. As soon as you go inside, you go into the stores, Target, pay less shoes. I don't appreciate it. I find them offensive. Why do I find it offensive? Am I trying to hit on you? Absolutely not, because I think you're a dumbass. You got the sunglasses on that says, I want to be sophisticated, and I don't want people to talk to me, and I'm hot shit. You're not, though. You see, and you put on these little magic barriers, your sunglasses here, because apparently the sun is always out. I mean... I don't even know how you sleep at night. Probably with them on. If they sit next to you, who fucking cares? It's the world. Grow the fuck up. You know, Jack Romeo does it every day. Do people talk to me on the subway? Hell yeah, they do. Not really. Sometimes the bums, like, mumble some words, and I don't really know what they're saying. Something about some food. And I don't get many food, because I don't have any food. I usually have a granola bar in my pocket or something, but that's for emergencies. The sun could be actually in the subway, and I could not know what to do, and I could be burning up. And I go without a meal, and I just, you know, I got this granola bar, Shazam, it's right there. I get to enjoy my delicious treat rather than hand it enough to someone that actually needs it. That's what America's all about, my friend. I see your goddamn cup, dude. Wow, you got me. And I'll give you a nickel or something. What the fuck am I going to do with a nickel? I don't know. Then why are you asking me for change? Don't.
we could get some Pizza Hut or something, because turns out for my pizza party, we were going to get Pizza Hut with, like, the new poppable crust thing. I saw no poppable bites last night. If you're not Burt Reynolds, okay, people really aren't, you know, looking to talk to you, I'm sure. Maybe you wear the sunglasses because you got, like, a, you know, a crooked eye, a lazy eye or something, you know. In which case, it's fine. You don't want to freak out the little kids on the train. But probably in your case, with, like, your, your little mink faux fur, like, you know, whatever this is, collar, I guess, and with your scarf and your, like, raccoon hat. Are you Davy Crockett now, too? You're Burt Reynolds. Davy Crockett, goddamn, girl, you got it going on. If you see this and you disagree with me, why don't you call me up? Why don't you say, hey, Jeb Romeo, why don't you come spend a day with me? We'll hang out, you know, we'll go to, like, we'll go to KB Toys in Times Square and we'll ride, like, the, the Ferris wheel. I did that the other day, too, but it's, I'll do it again. You know, you got it. You pay four bucks, you wait in line. And then you go in circles all around the place, and you see the little Asian dudes over here with the cameras, because they, they always got cameras. I mean, let's, let's face facts. What's up with Asians uh, when they run? I was standing in the corner waiting for the walk light to go. The walk light goes. There's a little Asian dude standing next to me, head on, like a blue, just like coat on, and like an old East Pack backpack on with some glasses, almost a bowl cut, something, Asian haircut. This light turns, and this guy just, he like... He took off. He was like just out there. His coat was open. So he just took the sides of the coat and just starts flapping these goddamn things. I thought he was going to just fly away. Luckily, it wasn't a windy day because he probably just would have, I don't know, he probably would have been back in, you know, China land. I hope to go someday. We can get this girl with the sunglasses come in, you know, anything, and then we'll write a MySpace blog about it. That's where this whole goddamn, like, I got to wear my sunglasses inside. I wear my sunglasses 24-7, I wear sandals all year round. That's where any of this like stuff came from. Some little girls playing on my space. I make this hand sandwich, and this is the only person that can make this hand sandwich is Jeb Romeo. That's me, by the way. Uh, hi. You take some, you know, wheat bread or something, you know, I, I like to keep it healthy, you know. I figure the wheat bread is one step above white. But before you put the ham on it, what you gotta do, you gotta get yourself a thing of syrup. Okay, you just squeeze the syrup on the bread, and I know you're saying, Jeb Romeo, stop right there, but I'm not gonna, because this is my sandwich, I trademarked it, it's called the uh, Jeb Romeo Ham Surprise, and that's really all it is, the surprise, it's basically ham, and the surprise is, you know, syrup, you gotta get the honey ham, or like the maple glazed ham, and it's all the more delicious, wow, Jeb Romeo, that was like a complete breakfast meal. It's 7 p.m. at night. That's the great thing about it. You can just, you know, you can eat the Jeb Romeo ham surprise when you're watching Married with Children. I'll probably say by the bell, but that's in the morning and nobody actually watches that show. Leave it to Beave, I'll tell you right now. Beave, you know, Cleve, you watch it and if you're still alive, I don't even know. I'll look into that. But you know what, dude? You had some good, good shows. I watch them all the time with my moms. I call them moms now because I'm, I'm in Brooklyn. I get profiled when I go in the grocery store, mainly because of my hair. Jeb Romeo is actually like a hair model, so, you know, it's, it's beneficial to have my hair this way. And it changes all the time. I had extensions in there one day. And God damn it, you would have thought I was wearing, like, you know, one of them turban things. If it's, it's a turban on you, I don't know what it is. I get profiled all the time. Let's just take off the sunglasses. You know, I'm sure you got pretty eyes. You know, not everyone is going to talk to you, okay? Not everyone. Not everyone that you come in contact with is a douchebag. You're a douchebag because you're going to maintain and just keep on wearing these sunglasses. No matter what your Romeo says, I mean, you're just going to keep doing it because you think you look fly, but you don't. I don't got to do it. I don't wear my hood up. I wear it up sometimes, yeah, you know. I'm about to get out of here. I forgot what I'm going to do. Go to the grocery store or something. Maybe I might go for, like, a walk. I don't even have an umbrella. You know what? I'm not even going to leave today. I'm going to go order me right now rain suit, a yellow one, I think. Yeah, yellow one. You come meet me in Brooklyn, and we'll, we'll go jump in the puddles. We'll get some nuts. Some nuts for nuts at the vendors. It's dude, gay guys, hey, look. It's not what you think. Nuts for nuts are actually peanuts, and they're delicious. I would... I'm gonna put those nuts in my mouth before I ever even consider putting, um, like, nuts in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because that's gross. They're coated with sugar, and, um, you know, um... You know, sugar. I think that's basically it, but they're delicious. You buy five of them, you get one free. This little guy over here, he's free. That's all you need. And we could get a hot dog, too, if you want. A dirty water dog.
just have a good day. I'm going to recoup from my pizza party last night. You know, I'll probably just go lay on the couch, watch some Golden Girls or something. My boy meets world, that show's always on. Full house. You know what? Okay, look, back to the girls with the sunglasses. America's number one dad wouldn't even want you as a daughter with your goddamn, you know, hooli handy thingies up here. And Uncle Jesse, holy shit. Uncle Jesse! Are you kidding me? He would take your sunglasses. He wouldn't take them. He'd punch you in the face. He'd take the sunglasses. He would melt them down, turn it into a comb, comb his head like 50 to like 175 times. Look at you and say, don't ever do that again. Ride off on his motorcycle, like all badass and stuff. You know, I'm actually going to go call Uncle Jesse right now. So, Uncle Jesse, I know you out there. I know you out there, baby. I'm coming, you know, we'll go ride our bikes. I still got the training wheels on by now, so you're going to have to, you know, you'll work with me. But anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. Keep up with yourselves. I'll be back. You know, I had a little hiatus, but, you know, I'll be back. I'm growing my beard now. So it's cool. It's legit, you know. I'll see you around there.